A frustrated family says investigators haven't done enough, so they're taking the case away from Orlando police. Jennifer Kessie disappeared nearly 14 years ago. Hard to believe it was so long ago. And tonight, her parents tell Nightside's Bo Zimmer they're stunned at some of the things police missed. We know how many law enforcement officials have looked at Jennifer's case and have come up with absolutely nothing. Um, but now it's our turn. Jennifer Kessie grew up in Tampa and disappeared from Orlando January 24, 2006. Her parents believe something happened as she was leaving for work. Police found her car abandoned at an apartment complex down the road, but investigators never found the person last seen driving it. We cannot see that person's face ever in anything that we have because they're just timed exactly right behind fence posts luckiest person in the world. The Kessies were frustrated with the police investigation from the beginning, and now they're taking over themselves. But to get those files, they had to make a deal with police. They are no longer by law required to look for Jennifer. We had to sign a contract with them saying that much. Are you okay with that? Um, we're gonna have to be. Uh, we're okay with that because we don't think that we're doing anything for the last 10 years anyhow. The family is just now beginning to go through the 14,000 plus pages of reports and evidence. Their working theory, Jennifer, was taken by one of the workers in her condominium complex. They don't take women to sit them in a corner and look at them. They take women to rape them, to use them, abuse them, and then kill them if they don't want them anymore. That's why women get taken, period. But we don't have Jennifer, so it's kind of like... Was she trafficked? Just like police, the Kessies aren't sharing all the secrets within the investigative files, but the evidence does paint a picture of what detectives have been doing over the past 13 years and potential leads overlooked, like the workers in Jen's complex who spoke Spanish, apparently never interviewed. We're going to interview the people that speak English and the rest of you can go. There's also information on Jennifer's cell phone, the time it was shut off by someone, and the empty condo next to Jennifer's found unlocked. It's believed someone stole the complex master key. Even with the odds against Jennifer still being alive, her parents refuse to give up hope. We're not going to stop until we take our last breath or she comes home to us for the good or the bad.